Four years ago, GoDaddy launched their new website builder. It seemed like a good start, and I thought maybe, maybe they were finally on the right track. But no, I was too optimistic. And today I'm going to explain why I don't recommend you build your website with the GoDaddy website builder. Let's dive into it. This is the GoDaddy website editor, and it's pretty straightforward. Click a section, and you can edit it. You can also click an element and edit it in place. So let's try creating a page. We'll make it an About Us page. Now, pages are built by adding sections, so let's add one. And let's check out their general content sections and scrolling. Ah, this one looks good. There we go. We've added a section. Now, sections are made up of elements like this this, this, and this. But here's where we start running into limitations. We can remove elements like this, but we can't actually add additional elements. We're stuck with whatever the section provides us. Like, let's say you want to add a photo here. Well, you can't just do it. There's literally not a way. Instead, this is your photo spot. Can we at least make this photo bigger? Nope, can't do that. Okay, what about a heading? Let's add a heading to this text. So we'll highlight it and we'll choose XL. And oh shoot, that made all the text big. Turns out we can't add just a heading. The best we can do is bold some text. Fair enough, though, though now I'm thinking this text is kind of gray and not totally readable. I want it to match the black up here. That looks more readable to me. Wonder if I can change the color. Nope, you, you guessed it. There's no option for changing the color. In fact, you can't set text color at all. GoDaddy automatically sets your text color based on what they call the best readability, though I don't really see how this gray text is more readable than a black text would be. My point is this is all just very frustrating. Limitations pop up everywhere in GoDaddy, and many of the limitations just seem arbitrary, which is kind of annoying, especially when you compare it to other website builders like Squarespace and Wix. For example, this is Squarespace. Let's try editing a page here. We'll add a blank section, and Squarespace lets us choose from all kinds of blocks. Let's add one. We'll make it a heading, center it, and now we can move it anywhere on the page. Now, if we want sections, Squarespace gives us that option too. Here's a bunch of sections for an About Us page. This one looks nice. So my point is, other website builders just have far fewer limitations. And to top it all off, GoDaddy doesn't even have that many sections. They have 88 sections. Well, Squarespace has over 200. Okay, back in GoDaddy. Now our website navigation pops out like this, which I like on mobile, but not for desktop. So I'd like to change my navigation. Unfortunately, the only way to change your navigation is to change the entire theme. But choosing a new theme changes a lot of things, not just navigation. So my website is going to dramatically change. I don't want to lose my work, so I'm just not going to change my navigation. Since we're already looking at themes, let's discuss them a bit more. On GoDaddy's marketing website, they showcase a bunch of different themes you can choose from. Let's take a look at a few. Honestly, I'd say they all look pretty nice. There are definitely website builders with prettier themes, but these GoDaddy themes are pretty good still. Now, all the themes that they show on their marketing website are just variations on the 22 themes that we can choose from here. Now, 22 is not a huge amount to choose from, especially when compared to other website builders. Plus, GoDaddy hasn't added a new theme in over three years, so I doubt this will change anytime soon. Next, let's look at an example feature, blogging. So we'll create a page. And we have three different blog sections we could try. Let's go with this one. Now to add blog posts, we actually need to leave the editor. We'll click manage blog and we're in a separate editor. Let's create a new post, the history of GoDaddy. 
We will publish, hit close, go back to the website, edit site, and, and now we can actually see what our blog posts look like. And here's what I think is kind of lame. You, we can't change this layout at all. Doesn't matter what section we choose, this is it. Want to get rid of the sidebar? No. Want to add an author? No. Want to make the layout wider? No. GoDaddy's marketing website says you can adjust the layout and design of your blog to your liking, but you definitely can't adjust the layout of blog posts. It just feels very half-baked. Now, even if you don't plan to use a blog, you should still care about this because it shows the level of care GoDaddy is putting into a feature. Okay, let's wrap this up. Now, I've highlighted a lot of what's not great about GoDaddy here. Overall, I find it too limiting and frustrating. But this doesn't mean you're doomed if you use GoDaddy. The truth is there are good websites built with bad website builders and bad websites built with good website builders. That being said, of course, you'll definitely be better off with a good website builder. If you'd like to try GoDaddy for yourself, there's a link in the video description. And I may earn a commission if you click that link because, well, I earn a commission on any website builders that I review, good or bad. Though frankly, I'm not expecting many people to buy GoDaddy based on this video. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope this was useful.